We're live. This is the second time we're shooting this because the mic wasn't on the first time. But what is going on, guys? We got a loaded up boat until it's a beautiful day. It's probably nine. It's probably ten o'clock now after Mitchell's twelve bathroom stops on the way here. Nine, nine bathroom stops. Nine o'clock. No, it's got to be closer to ten. But anyways, we're here at a beautiful day. Just drove about four or five hours, and uh, we got a loaded up boat. In fact, we got a loaded up. Dun 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 dun. Brand new Warrior 2090. Look at that. It actually looks identical in color and motor to the boat I had last year. A lot of online questions. Are you guys fishing out of the XL John Boat River Rig all year? The answer is not exclusively. We have a brand new 2024 Warrior 2090. Absolutely fell in love with this boat last year. Fell in love with Warrior Boats. Fell in love with how Warrior is really a boat company. That's like a family. And you can say that, and that sounds all cute and sweet, right? Um, but the way the dealers, um, the kind of the ownership at Warrior, whether it's talking to Kent, whoever it might be, these guys, it feels like talking to family. And on top of that, their boats are absolute second to none. I mean, these are the cream of the cream as far as big water boats go. And if you're a tiller guy, the 2090 is the deal. Picked this up from the boat center a couple days ago. They are, there's a location in Ramsey. I just want to get this right here so it's on the record here. There's a location in Ramsey, Minnesota and Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. These guys are the best when it comes to rigging these boats and also um, when it comes to really rigging any boat. They only kind of sell fishing machines, fishing platform boats. So if you're someone who wants to get new electronics or in the market for a new boat, possibly a warrior, the boat center is the place to go. They're not messing around throwing Helix 5s on pontoons for the next guy to come in and get. They rig hardcore fishing boats that I want and you guys want. So this is the brand new warrior. I'm not gonna talk too much. We'll kind of give you guys a full walkthrough, but my gosh, is she pretty. We got big walleyes to catch. We don't have much time. Where do you go? When you get a Warrior 2090, you go to Big Water. That's got big fish. And uh, let's go play around with them, Mitchell, eh? Let's go play around with some big fish today. All right, boys and girls, big water, baby. Tell you what, it all came back to me. Flip the switch on the Warrior. Oh, you just steer like that. All there is to it. Trim tabs right here. Trim up and down right here. I mean, this is tiller in style. But obviously we're on the hunt for some big fish. So uh, basically the plan is here to do a bunch of side imaging, look for some warm water, look for some big walleyes, and then hopefully make something happen fishing like gin clear water so it's a high likelihood our best bite could be late in the day we'll kind of see how the day plays out not too sure yet um, but we got a beautiful day and there are big walleyes in these waters mitchell all right well, we are gonna start fishing. There's a few fish around, hate the conditions, not much wind, super sunny, no clouds. But um, this time of year, if I'm fishing clear natural lakes or clear water in general, Kalins, Google Eye Hair Jig. You guys know how much I love this thing. Absolute money, fish in this area. They love your deep purples, your blacks, your deep purple with the touch of green, your peanut butter jelly. You got another one rigged up right here. Um, and a little bit shallower, quarter ounce size. So um, we're gonna throw some hair jigs at them. I'll link this bait down below because this is arguably one of my favorite clear water, um, especially early spring kind of jigging baits. Kalen's Google at hair. But essentially what we're gonna do, um, the Mega Live is it doesn't really have like a massive amount of use basically in this spot we're on. It's not like we're sharp shooting a lot of fish. We're mostly just getting in water. We like going down a bank, chucking a hair jig around. And we're gonna try to make something happen. Try to just cover as much water as we can, um, kind of until dark. And at dark, I think things will really fire off, but we'll see, who knows? We could just catch a pile of them during the middle of the day too. Time will tell. 
key when you're working the hair jig in the spring like this? Soft. Don't do a whole lot with the rod. Let gravity do the work. And the walleyes will come, Mitchell. Big old walleye too. Look at him, man. Well, we are slowly, slowly trying to piece something together out here. We have, in, I mean, that clear water is so cool, isn't it, Mitchell? We have extremely clear water and extremely low wind with a lot of sun. Look at that, number one. That's why that bite felt so weird. Is he just trapped it right to the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna grab my net here, Mitchell. And uh, we'll scoop this guy up. Oh, look at that. Now, as we're sitting here fishing, I just got a high suspicion that whatever happens for the next four or five hours is just not really gonna be that important. But whatever happens after the next five to six hours is gonna be crucial. And by that, I mean after darkness. And uh, we're hoping we catch fish that make this one look small. Even though this is a pretty gosh darn nice, thick, nasty walleye right here, dude. I mean, the build on these fish is so impeccable, would you agree? I agree. And look how we ate it. That is indicative of probably a lot of their activity level right now. Look at that guy popped off. Oh, big, healthy walleyes right there, Mitchell. Look at the shoulders on these guys. I mean, they're just an absolutely beautiful fish. He's even all happy and perky looking. Isn't that cool? Let's let that guy go. First one in the new warrior today anyways we'll let that guy go now, like i said i just feel like this evening into dark is going to be our time to shine but my gosh is that a good sight right there oh there he goes we're sitting at like 17 feet and you can just see straight to the bottom of the lake which you know with no no clouds in the sky and just straight up sun isn't that, that really that cool but that is our sexy little offering if you're fishing clear water in the spring, load up on these rascals. You guys know how much I like them. Kalins, hair jig, quarter, three eighth ounce, purples, blacks. If you're a dirty water guy, go with some color in there. We're basically just dragging and light hopping it. Will we catch more? We might. Will we catch a lot after the sun goes down? We will. Another real nice walleye, super nice one here, man. Wow, <laughs> these things are so cool in this clean water, man. I mean, what else can you ask for than that right there? Look at that guy. That's almost dragging that hair jig. You know, we fished a few spots, and literally, all of a sudden, we had just kind of a di little bit different kind of wind come in. All of a sudden, it just kind of came out of a little different direction, and we had one cloud. That is sometimes all this might take. Is he playing nice for you, cameraman? Oh man, come here, buddy. Oh, dude, <laughs> these are some good ones. This is how we wanted to start. That's probably a 29 incher, I would say, right there. Would you? Close to 30. He might be a 30 incher. Who knows? I didn't even bring a tape to measure him with, to be honest with you guys. Mitchell guarantees this 30 inch fish. Is it 30 inches? Is it not? I don't really care, to be honest with you guys. It's a good one. We now we do have a scale with, which this fish isn't gonna go crazy on a scale because he's post spawn. But uh, he is a long one. That is for dang sure. Tonight though, Mitchell, we're gonna get some big old dandy pre-spawners, I think. Look at that right there. Oh man, it's a story as old as time. Big walleyes, clear water, Google eye hair jigs. Look at that thing. Stuck right in the right in the corner of his mouth there. They love purple. I mean, that's a dandy. Would you agree, Mitchell? I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. There were some doubts that, you know, we weren't gonna make this happen until it was dark out. Well, careful, girl, careful. Look at that fish, man. It's giants. Land of giants, man. <laughs> These are such dinosaurs, dude. Oh, he's just gonna go, Mitchell. I caught him, I caught him. Look at that thing, dude. What? Oh, well, camera guy doesn't like that. There he goes, though. Camera guy doesn't like that as much. Give me some. 
You were just looking forward to that unbelievably cinematic release there, weren't you? And I denied you of it. Well, I just have to get another one. Cheesy. Is it? Yeah. What's getting cheesy? The release. Oh, I was just too played out at that point. It was overdone. Everybody was just foaming at the mouth waiting for that slow-mo on the release, and they just couldn't get it. They just teased them up for nothing. Well, we'll see if we can continue with our little streak of catching fish here. I still feel like whatever happens during the daylight hours is going to be nothing in comparison to what happens the last couple hours of the day and then into the darkness, but we'll see. Why does this feel so weird, Mitchell? Because it's a white fish. Because it's not a walleye. Well, folks, you know, it's been pretty slow for the last uh, several hours. Couple big old walleyes. We're extremely confident that we're around a whole bunch of big walleyes. And for whatever reason, we are just not having a whole lot of real good luck going on during the day but darkness is on our side and soon the sun will go down here's a big old wily whitefish you want to put him in the smoker mitchell sure. are you serious huh? no nah, we'd have no way to clean him or anything gosh is he angry though there he goes see you later little white fish on this shoreline there exist thousands of big walleyes we need something to change. Soon the light conditions will change. And we are really hoping that's just going to be our, our ticket to stardom tonight anyways. So we'll find out. But uh, I think we're in the right spot. As we wait for the sun to go down, instead of just catching white fish, might as well give you guys a tour of the new boat. I absolutely love these warriors. This is the second year I've had one. They are incredible. Just the quality of the boat, how well these things ride in big water, they're insane. But we'll just do a little walk through here, a little tease up, because we haven't done that yet. In the back, we actually went from running three graphs back here to just one really big graph. That gets rid of all my other screens. Um, so this is an Apex 16, which I'm running back here. Now, the cool part about this is that I get a much more screen to run. So from going from three graphs to one graph, now I have less screen essentially. So this is the screen that I look at a lot. GPS mapping, full screen side imaging. This is what I like doing when I'm fishing in the spring. But obviously with um, all the hummingbirds, you get a plethora of different views to choose from, right? You can kind of do whatever you want, but with the bigger screen, I get more real estate to read the same amount of stuff. So um, that's kind of beneficial there. Now, on the back, 175 Yamaha SHO. These things are so snappy. A lot of guys will run a much bigger motor on here, which is great. I have no need. I mean, I'll cruise along at 50 miles an hour, no problem. So obviously one of the best parts with Warrior is just the absolute insane amount of storage from down in here where we keep a lot of our kind of filming stuff and snacks and things like that. Rear back live well, big camera spot. One of my favorite parts is all the ridiculous amounts of rod storage. So generally if I'm gonna fish with like three, four rods for the day, I'll throw them in these shelves and then they're just kind of like quick to grab. I have all my trolling rods both in this side right here down below and the other side so it keeps everything super out of the way the only real difference i did on the trolling side was i put in tracks instead of rails a little bit more adaptable maybe you can do a little bit more with them obviously the other cool part about these big warrior tillers is the power steering so you could drive this boat just with this switch it's warrior's own thing for a lot of you big tiller guys this is the cat's behind for driving big tillers. It makes it so simple, so easy on a lot of your big runs. Trim tabs as well. This is gonna let me fluctuate how level that boat is, keep spray off one side, keep spray off the other side, or drop them both down and just, just pound through whatever kind of waves I want. So super cool system on the Warrior steering. If you guys watched the video last year, you guys kind of know that, but um, this boat is obviously 20 feet long and you get a ginormous front deck, ranging from a whole pile of rod storage to in here we have another live well on this side 
bunch of planer boards in right now because we don't ever keep any fish what's in this side mitchell rod holders for in case we want to start trolling that's actually a cooler there massive amounts of storage up in the front i don't even know how many tackle trays i have in here but there's about a million different plano boxes in here fold with baits that we might need for four different states when we go on a trip like this right so that's kind of that we got another big compartment up here with all our life jackets jackets some more camera stuff now let's come to the cool part of the boat the bow so up here as technology changes i found myself fishing less out of the back of the boat and more out of the front of the boat so up here we're running right now um two um 13 inch apex units now these units are phenomenal for doing a lot of this forward facing stuff and uh, i like obviously having the bigger screen too now one graph will normally be on a landscape mode or a side imaging from the back and one will be on a forward facing mode but you can kind of fluctuate that however you want obviously running the forward facing we have the tki live mount now you guys know we kind of prototype these help design these i put this on a track so i can put it on that side that side move it to the back one thing i'd say if you're someone who maybe looks wants to get into this kind of forward facing style of fishing get one transducer get one pole but then just wire plugs in all over the boat. So I have a plug in the back where I can just move this to the back. I got a plug on that side, I can move it to there. I got a plug near the trolling motor so I can just put one on there if I want to. So it's kind of the system where even if you just have one uh, forward facing transducer, you can move it all around very quickly, right? So that's kind of the deal there. Right on the bow, we have the Makota Tarova Quest 72 inch, which is their new brushless trolling motor. It's absolutely insane. The power you get out of it is unbelievable. It's also, in, there's none of that vibration you used to have. It's dead quiet when it's running. Incredibly efficient, incredibly quiet. There's a whole bunch of other features we'll touch on too as we kind of get more into the season when we start using more of them. But that's kind of the brand new Warrior 2024 2090 tiller this was the most badass tiller boat i've ever seen and uh, i'm absolutely in love with them as you guys know that i'd be even more in love with it though if the sun went down and we started catching some fish mitchell mitchell's had a long day of just kind of sitting there listening to me say only six more hours till the sun goes down only three more hours till the sun goes down right yeah, pretty much. it's gonna happen though Mitchell it's not feeling like our big fish but it could be getting bigger here okay it's getting bigger sun is just starting to go down and this is hopefully the start of the window in which we've been hoping for okay at first it didn't feel that big but it's acting like it's getting bigger not a giant but a nice walleye right there and that is what we're after and we're hoping that this is just gonna kind of be the start here of hopefully wild things to come I'm fishing this gin clear water and you know when all these fish are up real shallow gets to be kind of tough a lot of times during those midday flat calm sunny hours so putting in the night shift can often be kind of the way to go and we're going to mix it up between some swim baits maybe some stick baits maybe some holy cow he wasn't coming off there we go nice walleye right there man they are just so pretty up here in this clear water that is a perfect one i love how dark and gold they get that is awesome right there are we going to do it camera guy is it going to happen for us that is the question i mean there's a nice one to get it going not quite as big as the last wall that we caught but there are so many fish on this shoreline it's insane if you do a little window shopping and creep up in there real shallow you're gonna see a pile of fish <laughs> and uh, especially in the middle of the day they'll just sit there and sit there but obviously this time of day we hope they're actually starting to bite oh 
right on cue, Mitchell. Sun going down, fish start biting. This one I believe is a little bit better than the last one. You know, the potential for super freak is always high out here. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Dude. <laughs> Sometimes you just got a log a few hours to make it happen. How's our lighting there, camera guy? I'm going up and over you. There we go. Look at him, dude. Real light jig heads. Big uh, Kalen's tickle tail. Boom. That's simple. It's starting to make all those hours we fished today a little bit more worth it now. There we go. <laughs> I thought we were going to lose Mitchell halfway through the day. Oh, don't make stuff up. <laughs> I knew you could do it, though. I knew you could per persevere. If you guys can hear me at home, he's making stuff up. Uh, you, did you ever nod off today at any point? Nope. You never did? Nope. Look at that, dude. Awesome walleyes right there. It's as good as it gets, man. Look at those things. Breaking in the new warrior, catching big old walleyes. We're going to get bigger tonight, though. I have a feeling a super freak is coming now super freak super freak you gonna sing the rest or no super freak there she goes it's happening mitchell it's happening gotta get my bait back in the water i gotta i gotta change this out it's all burnt up Mitchell, that was the big popping bite which we've been waiting for. We're fishing this little sand to rock line and the fish like sitting in the sand right bumped up to the rock. So I'm just drifting down it, making the same cast kind of over and over and over. We've got some lights coming there. There we go. And uh, fired it down there about as long as I could, as far as I could. And man, dude, that thing absolutely just chunked it out there just that classic big boom type of bite how's our camera work here buddy look at that thing oh man is that ever <laughs> a cool deal huh oh dude i absolutely love it what's a heavy one too and it is starting to really pay off and a lot of times it's just sticking it out a little bit longer i can't tell you how many times that's just been the moral of the story when they're eating tickle tails like that, they might want it. I don't know. What do you guys think? That was that big boom bite. Let's get them popped off there. I'm actually, whenever I'm targeting these big fish, there are a lot of big fish in a system. I like fishing that. This is just a uh, Kalen swim bait head, and it's got just a huge beefy hook on there, so you can really drive it home. I mean, there's probably just another 28 inch, I'd say, huh, Mitchell? Yeah, nice Look at that thing. In the dark swatting big old walleyes dude on swim baits i don't know how it gets any better than that i mean that is the way you want to end a day right there wow left home at 3 30 this morning drove five hours launched the new boat got on some fish fish till it was dark and now we're smoking them that's the way i like it right there let's let her go that is a stud daddy that is a stud daddy good Oh, look at that thing, man. That is awesome. Back to the crystal clear water. <laughs> oh, now I can't stop, though, because now it's, it gets to the point where it's addicting. doesn't matter how tired you are. Can't stop now, boys. Back at it. All right, guys, so what we're doing, and we're using the Mega Live, not a lot to really find fish. Of course, if I see a fish, great, right? But we're fishing this shoreline break and we have a lot of rocks way up in towards shore big giant boulders and then it'll come down and it'll flatten out and turn into sand the fish really like where those boulders come down and it flattens out and hits sand so i kind of want every single one of my casts to be there now when it's totally dark out it gets tough to make that repetitive cast as we're just kind of drifting down this shoreline so i'm almost using mega live to do that so if you look at it right now you're going to see the shoreline right it's pointed way up in there and if you point it straight at the shore, you're going to see that crease right there, about 30 feet out. Now, if I start panning this live this way, you're going to get right to where it flattens out right there. And you can almost see that crease kind of right there. So I know 50 feet that way, or if I cast straight in that direction right there, 
I'm right on that crease. So this is the way that a lot of times you can use Mega Live not just to get you around fish, but to put your bait over and over and over right where you want it to be to kind of make that perfect cast. And a lot of times in the dark, it all gets much more confusing. So I'm not using this to really find fish. I'm using it to kind of put my bait right in the zone where I want it to be. Oh man, dude. I just actually lost one and just got absolutely swatted. And it's just another tank, man. Whoa, look at, me, look at these things, dude. Nighttime is the right time. Just fishing a super shallow little rock wall here and pitching at it and pitching at it. Look at that thing, dude. Just a tank, man. A tank, dude. This is what we are after. Oh, come here, big girl. Wow, there is nothing cooler than a bite that just goes thump in the darkness like that. That is, and we've been literally been casting over these fish all day. Obviously got a couple of them to go in the middle of the day, but for the most part, it was a lot of just staring at fish on electronics or visually seeing fish in the water. The second it got dark out, boom, boom, boom. All of a sudden they just started biting. You guys probably didn't get to witness a whole lot of that fight. It was real close to the boat. I'm just pitching like, basically just 15, 20 yards off the bow and just working right back to the boat real short. Just making a kind of repetitive cast at this little rock wall. And that one just popped it up real slow. That quarter ounce Kalen's uh, tickle tail just slowly kind of pendulum down, just whack that big hard crush on the line. I'll give you a look. This is a real nice walleye right there, man. It's about as good as it gets right there. Breaking in a new boat with some absolute studs, man. He's angry too. That's probably another 30 inch fish right there, huh, Mitchell? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that is just a tank of a walleye right there, man. Wow, is that a fun way to fish, huh? Look at that thing, dude. What a stud to end on, huh? We've been up a long time today. You could do this all night. But one thing I've learned in my older, wiser age is you don't want to just uh, blow all of your energy on the first day of a trip. We got a few days, we got a few more days of breaking this down because this is a lot of fun right here. Wow, is that a nice fish. Look at that, tanker man. What do you say, Mitchell? Do we go check into our crappy hotel now? Sounds good to me. <laughs> do it all again tomorrow. Oh, sometimes you just got to fight a little bit longer. That fish is all of 30 inches right there. Just a beast, man. Back in she goes. You got her good there, cameraman? Oh, there she goes, kicking back down. <laughs> well, this is a fun day, long one. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this one. We're gonna buzz back to the truck and get out of here. Do we shoot an intro now or at the truck? Should we just shoot it now? Shoot the what? Intro, outro? <laughs> well, this guy can't even talk. <laughs> Might as well, right? Sure. end it right there well i appreciate you guys watching this one um if you guys are not yet please subscribe to this one if you guys like the content we are filming if you guys want to give mitchell a thumbs up in the comment section for his editing skills and prowess the guy sat in the chair in the back of my boat for about 12 hours today and only complained 50 percent of the time <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> no he didn't complain too much but appreciate you guys watching this one um thank you guys for subscribing drop some comments down below we'll see you guys on the next video no idea what I'm punching out because I cannot see with the light.